Copepods are powerful swimmers and can sometimes break free. But this one's luck runs out almost at once. This hydra fishes the chamber for bottom-hugging red copepods and catches one, only to have its neighbor try to steal the prey. After ten minutes of tussling over the copepod, the thief manages to stretch its mouth around the tasty crustacean. Even so, the original hunter refuses to give up. It takes the hydra's nerve net another ten minutes to make the decision to give up its meal. The successful hydra will gradually digest the copepod. In about 12 hours, it will spit out the undigestible portions, including scraps of predigested food that will be harvested by the small ciliates running over its body. The need to regurgitate undigestible portions of the meal through the mouth creates a food source for protists that set up shop wherever hydras are feeding. The outflow stream of a lake is an ideal location for a hydra to grab a passing meal. An aerator creates the right amount of current to simulate the hydra's natural feeding station. Then we introduced some lake plankton and observed a cnidarian feeding frenzy. One way to investigate the mechanism of prey capture is to examine the tentacles. The microscope shows several different kinds of stinging cells, including harpoons and lashes, for paralyzing and holding the prey. These weapons immobilize by entangling the appendages of these small crustaceans. But do they work against other small water animals? We tried offering our hydrozoans a much slipperier morsel, a tubifex worm. Hydra had no problem holding it, even in the severe current. Stretching its mouth, the worm is tucked away in the cnidarian's digestive cavity. Another feeding trial turned into a tug of war. After five minutes, digestive enzymes begin breaking down the worm's proteins, and its blood can be seen circulating around the hydra's digestive cavity, gradually filling the lower gut. In 30 minutes, the worm's proteins have digested sufficiently for the competing hydras to pull the prey apart. The inner cell layer of cnidarians, the gastroderm, contains gland cells that produce digestive enzymes and phagocytic cells that engulf small food particles. <laughs>